Now imagine you want to define Tyrannosaurus rex, for example. Well, Tyrannosaurus rex is not alive today, and it only lived during a certain narrow time zone in the past. So first we have to figure out, well, how old is that animal? And then we go to the library and pull out geological maps and look for rocks that are that age. And the next thing is to find rocks that are not only the right age, but also the right environment. And once we found that spot on the geological map, then we go into the field. Here in Texas, Big Bend National Park and the areas along the Rio Grande, it's a great place to look for dinosaur bones. And really, almost any county you go to in Texas will have some kind of fossil bones if you know how to look for them. One dinosaur has two or three hundred bones in its body. If you find one of these things, it's, it's, you know, it's a dream come true until you start to dig it up. And once you start to dig it up, you realize they're really big. It takes a lot of rock to cover them. That means we have to remove a lot of rock. So we use hammers and chisels. We use jackhammers sometimes. Or my undergraduates come along and they shovel and brush and help us uh, remove all the rock from around a specimen. And um, we then use a variety of special kinds of glues and hardeners because these bones are fragile. They've been in the ground for millions or tens of millions of years. And so we have to put glue on them to harden them, to preserve them. And then we cover them with uh, uh, surgical bandages or plaster of Paris and burlap bandages, and things of this sort to make the specimens uh, strong so that we can bring them back from the field to the lab.